Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today I'm going to be doing a Relinquished deck profile. So you guys have been requesting this one a lot recently because of the new Relinquished Anima, which is a really, really cool Relinquished monster, but I wanted to put these side by side to kind of show you. They actually literally just flipped Relinquished upside down. Like, that's all they did with this card artwork. It's literally Relinquished turned over on its head, which is a really funny, like, artwork. I love that, but it's really neat, too. And it's a really good card, too. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely comment down below what you think of this deck. And also, check out the Patreon, because we have some really cool awards for you guys, like getting a signed card, getting your name in every single one of the videos, or also getting a uh, deck profile of your choice every single month which is really cool. So without further ado guys, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of the OG Relinquish. Now cool thing about Relinquish is this actually was my very first card uh, when I first started playing was Relinquish and that's why I really love this deck. So basically what Relinquish does is it lets you target a monster your opponent controls without looking at that wall of text from the original structure decks. Basically what this card does is it lets you target an opponent's monster, equip it to this card, and when you equip it to this card it gains attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of the opponent's monster. And it also has the ability that you can only have one monster equipped to it as well. And if it's going to be destroyed, you destroy the equipped monster instead, which is a really cool effect. And I really like that effect about Relinquished. Um, and it's just a really, really, really cool card. Um, and any life point damage you receive from the attacking monster when Relinquished is um, when Relinquished is attacked also inflicts to your opponent as well. So like if you, you take damage from a battle, your opponent takes the damage too, which is pretty cool. Then we play a Kaiju Engine in here, which is going to be one of the Thunder King, one of Dolgoran, one of the multi-dimensional kaiju, one copy of Gandarla, one copy of Kamungus, and a single Gamma Seal. I play all these six in here because with playing these six, you're never going to have two of the same in your hand. So it's really good to not have two of the same in your hand because if you have these this variety of kaijus, then you can really go after your opponent with Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. And if you draw two of them in your hand, you can put one on your field, one on your opponent's field. And it just really helps out to be able to do that because then you don't have to worry about having, you know, two of the same kaiju in your hand. Then we play three copies of Manju of the 10,000 Hands. Oh, quick one. The reason I'm not playing the uh, other kaiju, the other one that has 3,300, is because if I play that and I play against Cyber Dragons, then they can gobble it up for Eltanen. But with these, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, then we play the uh, these three Manjus. The Manjus basically are your normal summon in the deck to search your copy of Relinquished or your copy of the Thousand Eye or Thousand um, or the Black Illusion Ritual is what it is. That's what I was thinking of. Then we play three copies of Predaplant Orthoscorpio. Thank goodness this did not get hit on the ban list. I'm so glad this didn't get hit on the ban list. Because basically what this card does is if it's normal or special summon, you could send a monster from your hand to the graveyard. If you use a special summon a plant or put a plant monster from your deck, which is always going to be our Darling Cobra. Darling Cobra, if it's special summoned, then you get to add a Polymerization card or a Fusion card from your deck to your hand, which is really nice because we can either add Relinquished Fusion or Instant Fusion as well, which is really a good card. Then we play two copies of King Kaboya. Um, King Kaboya is really good because what this Boya, what it does is, is um, when it's normal summoned, you get to target a level one monster in your graveyard and special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. But you can use that as a link material to go into your Relinquish Anima or go into another link monster that you might need to go into or go into Verde Anaconda as well. This card's like a one card Verte Anaconda, which is really cool to be able to go into your other fusion monsters. We play three copies of Millennium Eyes Illusionist. This card's really good. Millennium Eyes Illusionist lets you discard this card and then target an effect monster your opponent controls and equip that monster to an Eyes Restrict Fusion monster or a Relinquished monster you control as if it were equipped by its own effect. And if a Eyes Restrict monster or a Relinquished is special summoned, then you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, and it's not optional. You have to add it from your graveyard to your hand. It's like, get me in my your hands so you can use it again. Which is really cool. I really like it as a 3 of because I always want to see this card. So that's why I play this card at 3. And then I play a single copy of Illusionist Faceless Mage. This card's a really good card as a 1 of because if an a, uh, Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquish you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect. You can special summon this card from your hand. Um, 
or your graveyard, and then it also has the ability that you can target an Eyes Restrict Fusion Monster or Relinquish it in your graveyard and special summon it. So if you properly summoned it, you can just bring it back with this card, which is really good. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Instant Fusion because it is limited to one now, but it is still a really good one of in here because you can go into your Thousand Eyes or Millennium Eyes Restrict. It just depends on what you need to go into to be able to get your plays going, and it's just a good card. Three copies of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is really good in here too because basically what this card does is it lets you target one uh, monster that's in the graveyard and banish it. Usually it's going to be a hand trap that you're going to be hitting with this card, but it is, you know, you usually are going to use that to hit a hand trap. Um, then we play three copies of Super Polymerization. Super Polymerization really, really helps us go into our Millenniumizer Restrict. It also helps us go into our copies of Starring Venom and the Mud Dragon, which is really good in this deck. They're just super, super good cards in here, and I really like playing them in here. Um, they're really, really beneficial. Then we play three copies of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, which helps us with an OTK that's in the deck. That basically what you do is, is you activate this card, and then after you activate it, then you can actually destroy all cards on the field or destroy all monsters on the field. And send them to the graveyard. And then it also has the ability that once you do that, you can special summon a kaiju to your field and a kaiju to your opponent's field. Well, if you have a relinquish that you can summon, then you just gobble up the other kaiju that your opponent has. And then you go to town by attacking them with your relinquished and your kaiju, which is really cool to be able to do. And it just really, really, really helps out to be able to OTK your opponent that way because you have such um, an easy way to get it out. Then we play three copies of Pre-Prep of Rites. The three copies of Pre-Prep of Rites lets us add a Ritual Monster and a Ritual Spell from our deck to our hand, which is really cool to be able to add Relinquished and a copy of our um, Illusion, our Black Illusion Ritual, which is just a really, really good combo to be able to do to just instantly get the cards that you need from your deck to your hand. It's just really, really good to be able to do that and get them directly from the deck. Then we play three copies of our Black Illusion Ritual. The Black Illusion Ritual is the main way that you're ever going to summon your Relinquished in the deck because, you know, it's just really cool to be able to drop this card in 2020. Um, but basically, this card Ritual summons a Relinquished by tributing monsters that have one or more stars. And it's super easy to summon. Then we play three copies of Relinquished Fusion. Relinquished Fusion is a super cool, neat card. It lets us fusion summon an Eyes Restrict Fusion monster from our extra deck by banishing materials from our hand, field, and or graveyard. And then during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one effect monster your opponent controls and equip that target to an Eyes Restrict monster or Relinquished you control as if it were equipped by its own effect, which is really really good because basically if you have this on the field you can and your opponent activates an effect you get to add, equip the monster to this card then you can banish this and then equip another one and this card's already going up by one monster's attack it goes up by every single monster's attack that it has equipped to it, which is really good then we play three copies of Allure of Darkness because you really want to dig into this deck to get into your spells and your monsters so you can start going off so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing just a single copy of Relinquished Anima. Basically what this card does is you can link summon this card by using a level 1 monster except for tokens. And then if it's in like a link zone, because you're always going to summon this in a link zone, um, you can uh, gobble up a monster that this card points to. Like if it points to a monster straight above it, like right here, then you can take that monster with this card and equip it to it and it gains attack equal to that monster's attack, which is really cool. Basically gives any deck that can have a level 1 monster uh, access to Relinquish, which is crazy cool. I think there's another reason why Instant Fusion got limited. It's because of this card. Then we play two copies, just two copies of the Millennium Eyes Restrict. I bumped this down to two because you don't have the three Instant Fusion anymore, so I feel like two is all you really need in here. Um, basically what it does is, is when this card, once per turn, when an opponent's monster activates its effect, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard and equip it to this card. Um, and then this card gains attack and events equal to the equipped monster's attack and events. And the monsters this card um, 
as equipped to it cannot attack and also their effects are negated which is really cool because if you equip like something like for instance let's just give you a for instance like a shuttle windy if you're playing it or no 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 let's say alistair the invoker your opponent normal summons the alistair while you have this on the field you trigger this effect gobble up the alistair and then it's like now none of your alistairs can activate which is really cool they can't attack they can't activate their effects nothing and this card can really mess up some people's plays. Like, it's really funny. Um, and it just negates their effects outright in the, in the chain, which is funny. Um, then we play a single copy of Thousand Eyes Restrict. I did bump this card down to one in this deck because it's just an instant fusion target because we don't play Thousand Eyes Idol in here and we're not ever we're never going to fusion someone in this card. You're just going to instant fusion it out. Um, but basically what it does is, is as long as this card remains face up on the field, other monsters cannot change their battle positions or attack. Then this card can, you take, uh, this card, this monster can take on the attack and defense of one monster on the field, uh, which is really cool as well. And then also you can equip a monster to this card, which is really, really nice. And I really like that ability and you can only equip one monster to this card. Then we play for our uh, Super Poly targets, we play a single copy of Mud Dragon, a single copy of Starry Venom Fusion Dragon, and one of the Predaplant Fusion Monster as well, because these are really easy to go into in this deck. These are all three Super Poly targets, especially if you're playing against Dark, and if you're playing with your Verte Anaconda, these are really easy to go into, um, and just really good options for you guys. One copy of Breaksword. Breaksword just helps us pop stuff on our opponent's side of the field. You make this with your two copies of your Orthoscorpio and your uh, Darling Cobra. You can make it. It doesn't come up often, but it is an option. Link Rebo, because you can make this with your copy of your Thousand Eyes Restrict. It, they don't have something that's in the zone. One copy of Verte Anaconda. Verte Anaconda really helps out because... Basically, it's access to Super Polymerization or your Relinquished Fusion at any time. One copy of Cross Sheep, because if you Fusion Summon under this card, you get to revive a level 4 or lower monster. So if you if you Ritual or you if you have a properly Ritual Summoned Relinquished, you can just bring it back with this card, which is really cool. Nightmare Phoenix, because you can pop spells and traps. Nightmare Unicorn, because you can bounce cards off the field. Uh... Meg Knight Crusadia Avermax because you can help OTK your opponent, and a Boral Sword to also help OTK your opponent. Just depends on the situation, depends on what you make. So that's it for the deck, guys. Um, the only thing that I really want to change is about this deck is figuring out a way to put Thousand Eyes Idol in here so I can go for more for Thousand Eyes Restrict. But basically, at the moment, it's just Millennium Eyes Restrict that you're going to be summoning unless you're going to instant fusion it out. But it's a really fun deck to play around with, and it's super, super cool. Um, and it's just a really overall good deck and really interesting fact for you guys do you know that millennium or not millennium eyes restrict but do you know that thousand or is idol is the only monster in the game that has zero attack zero defense and is a level one normal monster just a cool fun fact for you guys it is literally the weakest monster in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! ever created but it is you know, makes one of the most powerful fusion monsters of all time. So anyways, guys, this is Darkroom Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad. Tell me what you think of this video down in the comments down below. And definitely check out the Patreon because we have some really cool rewards for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you around, guys.